So long, Katniss Everdeen. You will be missed. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 is directed by Francis Lawrence, and the film does have the talents of Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutcherson, Woody Harrelson, Elizabeth Banks, Donald Sutherland. I know I'm missing a lot of people because there's a lot of talents here, and the film is about when Katniss Everdeen, leader of the rebellion, symbol of the Mockingjay, forms an army to go assassin President Snow. So when I went to The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2, of course I'm going to be excited for this because I really enjoyed all of the Hunger Games films. And with this being what's supposed to be the epic conclusion, I was really hoping that this would be a conclusion worth remembering. And does The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 do that? Hell no. This is actually a very forgettable conclusion and it bums me out to say this but the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 is by far one of the most disappointing movies of 2015 but of course let's get to my positives for Mockingjay Part 2 so of course Jennifer Lawrence she has been consistently fantastic in these movies. It's no exception here in Mockingjay Part 2. She was very strong in her role. She conveyed so much emotion into her character Katniss Everdeen that truly does show why Jennifer Lawrence is one of the best young actresses working today. This woman just knows how to act and she really does a great job as always bringing her character Katniss Everdeen to life. Josh Hutcherson, um, I know other reviewers have mentioned it and I'm going to mention it here too. He has been great in this franchise but I think part two might be the best performance Josh Hutcherson has given in this franchise in all honesty. He had his emotional range as well and the back and forth that he had with Katniss Everdeen, I found those scenes to actually be the most interesting scenes in Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Of course, all the other performances are great, and there's so many of them that I know I'm going to forget some, but Woody Harrelson, he's still good as Haymitch, although the bummer is that you don't really get a lot of comedic relief from Haymitch, because this is serious, and I can understand that, but... I wish we got a little bit more humor from Hamish, however, but he was still good. Elizabeth Banks, barely in this movie, but she still did a good job. Julian Moore was still really great here. May he rest in peace. Philip Seymour Hoffman was really good here, and my goodness, I miss this man so much. He did a really good job for the role he has in part two, and all I'm gonna say is, because this is the last time we see you, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Thank you so much for the work you've given us, good sir, and I hope you're resting well up in heaven. The actor who played Finnick, I thought he did a really good job here. The actress who plays Prim, she did a really great job. Basically, everyone did a really good job in this movie. I thought the visual effects in this movie were actually excellent. They looked really good. When there's an explosion happening, it looked like a real explosion. The action, although unfortunately for a conclusion, you don't really get much action. And it's funny how this has more action than part one, yet I find part one to be way more interesting than part two. The action for the most part I did think was filmed very well, leading to some intense moments, especially when it comes to the sewer scene where you get to all of these creatures that I forgot who they're called exactly, but I actually thought that was a very intense moment right there. Cinematography for the film looks great, just like with the other Hunger Games movies. It is very well shot with the cinematography. When it's day, it looks great. When it's night, it looks great. The lighting is so proper and it looks professional too. Donald Sutherland, he's fantastic as President Snow. He's still pretty menacing and I mean the stuff that he's been doing in this franchise is really horrible. Everything is just so dark and depressing. 
I've seen. So I will give the film credit for that at least, just being more darker compared to the other young adult movies. There were only a couple of dramatic moments that honestly got to me a little bit in Mockingjay Part 2. Francis Lawrence did a really nice job directing this film, although I don't think his direction was as great as Catching Fire and Mockingjay Part 1, but I still thought he did a very nice job directing the film. And the last positive I have with Mockingjay Part 2 is that it had a very nice ending. Like, after everything that has happened in this franchise, I think how the movie ended was definitely the ending this franchise needed, this franchise deserved. So I am happy with how at least Mockingjay Part 2 ended. It was a very satisfying ending. But unfortunately, I do have a lot of problems with Part 2. And one of those problems is that this movie underuses a lot of the characters and it completely wastes the talents of the actors now like I said everyone did a good job for what they had but you know because of how talented these actors are they could have been given so much better material and the characters are given little screen time like Prim this movie underuses Prim which was disappointing because I actually really like Prim. This movie underuses Finnick. This movie underuses Effie Trinket. Literally, she's in this film for only like a few scenes. Hey, Midge is so underused here. A lot of the characters are freaking underused here, and it's because of that you really don't care about most of the characters. When something happens, you just don't feel an emotional connection because it's just just so hard when they're given little screen time. There wasn't enough focus for them for me to connect with them. And that was just such a bummer. Oh yeah, and the whole love triangle subplot, that was very predictable. I know the love triangle thing has been something in this franchise, but it was never really the main focus, which I'm happy for. This one kind of focused on it more compared to the other Hunger Games. Still not the main focus, but it is focused from time to time, especially in this one scene with Liam Hemsworth and Josh Hutcherson. Liam Hemsworth does a good job, by the way. How the film wrapped up the whole love triangle thing, all I'm going to say is it felt rather shallow. Now, while most of the action scenes I did really like, I did feel like some of the camera work for the action scenes were just a little bit shaky. I will say maybe not as shaky as the first Hunger Games, but it was still a little bit shaky from time to time. There's a twist in the film that I found to be extremely predictable. I called this twist maybe like... 15 minutes into the movie, honestly. Now, like I told you guys, there were two powerful moments I thought were executed very well. But besides those scenes, the rest of the dramatic moments, I really could not connect with them. They weren't executed very well and they weren't really as powerful as the film thinks it is. Like, there's a lot of tragic moments that go on in this movie and most of those tragic moments I really didn't feel anything. I couldn't get emotionally invested whenever a tragic moment in the movie would happen because it was just executed so poorly. And it would feel awkward too whenever something tragic just out of nowhere happens. It just feels more random than it does feel powerful. The pacing of this film is not that great either. The film either gets too slow and there are some scenes that can be a real drag to sit through. So I did find myself honestly pretty bored in certain spots of Mockingjay Part 2. And then there's other times where the film can just get kind of rushed. The other problem is that this movie did not know when to freaking end. Like, I did really enjoy the ending. It was very satisfying. It was very solid. But before we got to that very solid ending, the movie just didn't know when to cut. Like, you think it's going to end at this certain moment, and then nope, it drags on. Then you think it's going to end at this certain moment, and then nope. And then after a while, I'm all like, oh, god damn it, just freaking end already. But 
the biggest problem I have with this movie is the climax. Wow. Talk about an underwhelming climax. Part one. Part two. All right. Part one was building up to what could have been an epic conclusion. And then part two, oddly enough, has even more build up. But once we get to the climax, oh my goodness, do things just feel pointless. It made not only just part one and part two's build up feel pointless, but the entire franchise's build up to this one moment. Overall guys, I was very disappointed by the Hunger Games Mockingjay part two. It ended up being a very forgettable conclusion to what I consider to be a very solid franchise. And that's cool if there's people that like this movie, because I know there's actually a lot of people out there that liked part two, but it just gave me that underwhelming taste in my mouth. And I gotta honestly give The Hunger Games Mockingjay part two a very disappointing two out of four stars. What a way to end a very well-made franchise. Wow. What a conclusion. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 and how would you guys actually rank The Hunger Games movies? I would rank it like this. Catching Fire, that is the best in the franchise to me. Then I would actually say Mockingjay Part 1. Then I would actually say The Hunger Games. Yes, even though both of those movies got the same rating from me, I would actually say just slightly more Mockingjay Part 1 is better, in my opinion. And then, of course, there's the forgettable Mockingjay Part 2. And I also want to thank Mark Krochik for bringing me on the spoiler room because we do spoil and discuss The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. If you guys want to check it out, I will leave a link in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!